Well, tomorrow, Sandag will be electing a new board of directors. It'll be the first all-new executive board put into place in years. And here now to talk about it is Sandag board member and Santee Mayor John Minto. John, thanks for joining us tonight. Hey, thanks for having me here. I really uh, am looking forward to talking about this. It's really important to us in Santee because we're a small city. Right. We need to have our voice heard. And I got to I've been on Sandag board for 20 years, the most senior person there that I can even think of. Wow. Everything from being on the Borders Committee, Public Safety, and the board of directors. We've never had any of the problems we've had over the last two or three years. And it's all divided by whether you're Democrat or Republican. Mm. And that's just not right for the people that we represent throughout the entire county. It didn't used to be that way, though. It used to be that everybody got two votes in a what they call a uh, weighted vote yeah. and one vote at a, a tally vote. I don't ever remember us using a weighted vote in the past, but in 2017, there was a new law that came in, uh, Assembly Bill 805, which changed all that and gave all the extra votes to the city of San Diego and a couple of the other larger cities. Right. Because that's what I want to talk about. You've got a bipartisan group of 10 out of the, I believe, 19 board members who have kind of created this uh, committee, so to speak, to, to want to change that, but then to also say that there needs to be a better representation for those yeah. smaller communities. Talk about tomorrow's decision of executive uh, putting in those new members and those new leaders. What do you think is going to happen, uh, and what do you maybe wish would happen? <laughs> Well, if we had uh, the perfect world or utopia, we, we would install an executive board that was a very bipartisan leadership. Or actually, forget about bipartisan. They're just good leaders. What they want to do is what's right for everybody within our county. Now, I don't know if that's going to happen or not. Those great are great hopes, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Now, on the 27th of January, we're going to hear about and have a discussion about that weighted vote. We can't take away the weighted vote because it's the law. A, uh, AB 805 made it the law. However, we can create a policy, even if it's a gentleman and a lady, a, a gentlewoman's agreement, instead of just going straight to a weighted vote, what if we said, let's step back for a minute, let's continue the item, and continue to collaborate, negotiate, to come out with a resolution that f works for everybody? I don't really think that's going to happen, but that is my wish for the new year and the new board. What a great time for new leadership to take control and do just that. We talk a lot about uh, diversity, equity, and inclusion. Well, let's like, include everybody, make sure it's equitable for everybody. Because you know what? If you say, well, you're a Democrat or you're Republican and I'm not going your way and you can't have your way, then really, are you being inclusive? Are you being equitable for everybody that lives in our community? I don't really think so. That's what I want to have happen tomorrow. And I think the way to vote, as you were saying, when Santee is just not getting maybe the, the same fair share or say in a situation, in a decision, same with other communities of similar size, it does get to the point where it feels as if people are being pitted against each other simply because of what side of the aisle they stand on, which is what makes tomorrow's vote so important. So Terry Gasterlin, we know, is one of those that's going to be yes. putting her name into the hat to lead this. Uh, from what we've heard from her, you know, she's not maybe thinking that that's going to happen. Uh, but I mean, is that something that you see people maybe talking about another way to vote before this final decision is made? I hope that's what we do. I've talked with Terry. She's really a very moderate person who really wants to make good things happen for our entire county. Uh, I would agree with her on that. We're on opposite side of the aisles. Can you believe that? And that's the way it should be. I don't believe that that's going to happen tomorrow. I think it's already decided who's going to be on that executive board, and that's not quite right. Uh, if they, it shouldn't matter who the executive board is. If they're doing the right thing for everybody, we can all get along and get things done. But if that's not the case, we'll be talking about it even more depth on the 27th about that weighted vote, because if that weighted vote keeps going the way it is, that means people of Santee, my community I live in and serve, people in Del Mar, people in Solana Beach, people in, let's say, Poway and uh, Escondido. Uh, so many others yeah. with smaller communities, we're never going to have a vote. We're never going to be heard. It's bad enough in East County, which is actually, you know what, the East County portion of San Diego represents one of the largest because it's incorporated. It's bigger than any of the cities. It's bigger than San Diego, I believe, or very close to it. They're not going to be represented. 
It's certainly something we are going to be watching very closely. As you mentioned, that one is not going to be happening until the 27th. Correct. The weighted vote decision, of course, we know tomorrow that's when they're going to be voting on that new board. Yes. It is fascinating to hear you say Terry Gasterlin sits on the other side of the aisle as you, and yet you would support her for leadership position. I mean, I think that says a lot about, again, finding people who can just get the job done right now, which is what everybody is really needing. All right. Thank you so much for You're joining welcome. us. We know it's a complicated issue. We'll be tracking everything that happens during tomorrow's meeting. We'll see what happens in the f near future. All right. Thanks so much. Logan, we'll send things back over to you. Okay, Hunter. Well, this weekend, SeaWorld San Diego is offering a unique inside look at some of the behind-the-scenes animal care. And KOSI's Casey McKinnon was at the park today. She was hanging out with her new best friend, Harvey the Sea Lion. This is just one of the many animals that you can meet if you plan on visiting.